It was a very dramatic moment when former cheerleader Brooke Schuyler Richardson found out her fate in court yesterday. She was accused of killing and burying her newborn daughter, which she says was stillborn. Here is her reaction to finding out what the jury decided. Watch. Verdict form two, involuntary manslaughter. We, the jury in the above captioned case, do by, hereby find the defendant, Brooke Schuyler Richardson, not guilty of the offense of involuntary manslaughter. Count three, child endangerment. We, the jury, find the defendant, Brooke Schuyler Richardson, not guilty of child endangerment. It does say we further find the defendant did not cause serious physical harm to the alleged victim. But she was found guilty of one charge, abuse of a corpse, and today she was sentenced to three years probation. I am sorry, I have dug deep into this case and I am not feeling it, Erica. Like when you look back and see that she confessed, and I know that coerced confessions happen. We saw that with the Central Park Five. This isn't the case here. This is somebody that confessed and then also said wanted to cremate their baby by lighting it on fire. Um, but then you have the psychologist coming to her defense saying, well, she's a people pleaser and she was trying to please the police officers. At the end of the day, even if she did birth a stillborn, you don't know if that baby could be resuscitated. You don't know if there's fluid in the baby's lungs. Instead, you sent a text message bragging about your tummy being flat again. So this one just, I, please somebody chime in. I mean, at, at best, it reeks of privilege. I um, totally agree with you. But at the same time, I think that we talk about this in a very, um, clinical way. Let's remember that what it would take to look at a child, whether they were stillborn or not, and set that body on fire. Like what type of, per what would that take within any of us right. in order to do that? That was my concern. And allow that to happen. Yeah. At, at worst, it's a mental health issue, but this is privilege yes. all the way around. But I also think it speaks to something else. Here you have a young blonde girl. She needed assistance as well. And every time someone says something about Planned Parenthood and not having any like legitimate reason of existing, these are the reasons yes. why Planned Parenthood and organizations like them exist. So little blonde girls don't end up in wherever giving birth and setting their baby's corpse on fire. I bet people don't think about that. It's about preventative measures. Yes. It's about understanding your body and sexual health. And these are the things that could be avoided if we had more money funding programs like that. Well said, Erica. Well, well said. said.